There are a few other basic things I'd like to go over with with you for Toad for DB2. And everything we've gone over so far applies both for DB2 for LEW, that's Linux, Unix, and Windows, as well as DB2 on ZOS or the mainframe. And now another thing that I think is important, a basic thing, is the ability for Toad to render some blob data. So here I have a table, an employee photo table. It's got a blob column on it. And by default, Toad does not fetch blob columns. You could customize it and say to do that, but I have not done that. So when you click on a column that is a lob, uh, Toad's going to prompt you. Are you sure you want to read it? Because it could be that your database is remote, and it could be millions of bytes coming down the line for each row. So it's prompting you. So once you do say read lobs, then you could actively click on your lobs. And if Toad recognizes it as a, an image, it will actually display that image for you. So that's a pretty cool feature with Toad for DB2. And also, I'm going to just put in a quick filter here. I think I have tables that uh, contains another blob table. And this data contains uh, a PDF file. So now if I read those and then click on this, what we'll actually do is show we have a PDF file viewer as part of the pop-up. So you can actually see the contents of a PDF file. So it's a pretty slick uh, mechanism here of uh, rendering not only images, but PDF files as well in the SQL editor. All right, I'm going to clear my filter, get back to here. And one thing you'll notice with Toad pretty much in many places is the right click uh, ability of many things. So if you right click on any object, we'll bring up a list of actions that you could take off of that object. So for example, I'm right clicking on a table. I could create a table, clone the table, alter the table, drop it, etc. There's many, many actions you could take and they're all available via, via a right click. So if I wanted to, for example, create a table just like that one, I could very easily select create like and just give it a name and be able to very quickly and easily generate the DDL that creates a table just like the one I have selected.